Let's not waste any time. The big question on everyone's mind, what is Nintendo going to do with the Nintendo Switch 3? Of course, the Nintendo Switch was a huge success, selling well over 100 million units. With an expected Switch 2 to come 2025, here at Switch Stop, we want to take a look ahead to what everyone really cares about, the Nintendo Switch 3. Here's everything you need to know about Nintendo's upcoming console. When talking about the Nintendo Switch 3, it's impossible to ignore its main gimmick. While the Nintendo Switch introduced the masses to portable, hybrid console quality games and rumors and leaks pointing to the Nintendo Switch 2 being largely similar with a massive upgrade in power, all signs are pointing for Nintendo to switch things up with the Nintendo Switch 3. Here's a high quality artist rendition of what this new console will look like. That's right, all rumors and leaks are pointing to this being another Nintendo Switch, but what you might not notice at first is that these Joy-Con are new. In fact, I think they're most similar to the old slide phones, where you could slide the screen up to reveal a keyboard. These Joy-Con, however, are slightly different, as it's the screen that slides up from behind them. Nintendo's also selling a Joy-Con screen grip and what they're calling the Switch 3 gamepad. Basically, what the rumors are saying is that for Switch 3, Nintendo is taking the Wii U gimmick to the absolute extreme. Everyone who is playing a game on Switch 3 will have a screen of their own built into their controller, allowing for revolutionary new gameplay. For example, take Nintendo's highest rated game on Metacritic, the Luigi Casino minigame from Mario DS, and let's see what it would look like on Switch 3. Now, everyone can play poker together by looking down at their own personal screen, seeing what cards they have, preventing any cheating from people seeing each other's cards. You'll be able to play poker with your friends friends in person like never before. In fact, my uncle's cousin's babysitter's godfather's brother's sister's landlord's dog's veterinarian actually works at Nintendo, and they've been saying there have been whisperings that you will only be able to play card games on this device. It seems like that's what the developers are trying to lean into. But now let's take a look at something even better, the Nintendo Switch 4. The Nintendo Switch 4 launches with Mario Kart 12, but according to Nintendo's internal plans, which came to me in a dream, Mario Kart 12 12 exclusively allows you to race on Baby Park. Every single cup is comprised of four different Baby Park tracks, and to lean into the theme, they're cutting down the roster by only including the Baby characters. Speaking of Baby games, the Nintendo Switch 4 is gonna launch with Mario plus Rabbids 3, Rayman's Revenge. Ubisoft's internal plans for this one are actually to make it a good game and not crunch their developers just to churn out more uninspired garbage, and instead, the Rabbids aren't gonna be included at all, and it's just gonna be a Rayman game. So it looks like the Nintendo Switch 4 is in great hands, but it's never too early to look a little bit further into the future. The Nintendo Switch 5, according to leaks from industry insiders, is when Nintendo is finally leaning into NFTs. You'll be able to set a profile picture on the Nintendo Switch 5, which can be minted and sold on Nintendo's new service that's internally being called by developers as blockchain. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not entirely sure if this one works out for Nintendo. Considering the Nintendo Switch 5 is scheduled to launch somewhere around 2045, they might be a little late to the NFT trend. But hey, when has Nintendo ever been known to adopt new technologies on time? Unfortunately, the Nintendo Switch 5 is slated to be such a failure because of this NFT blockchain technology that Nintendo's pulling an iPhone and jumping all the way to the Nintendo Switch X. That's right, in 2051, the Switch X will launch and look like this. I mean, just look at this gameplay. You're, you're telling me you don't want to play games like this where they're all in the shape of an X on the screen doesn't hurt your head at all. The Nintendo Switch X is also going to be the home to many different crossover games within Nintendo's IP. Currently, Nintendo is working on developing Fire Emblem X Mario, The Legend of Zelda X Steel Diver, and F-Zero X Nintendogs. Guys, I don't know about you, but I'm super excited for this. So yeah, that's basically the rumor roundup for the next 35, 40 years. So now those insiders can stop putting out dumbass Switch 2 predictions as fact. Oh really, it was supposed to come out first half of 2024. Oh, now it's second half of 20, oh, now it's early 2025. Yeah, okay, yeah, makes sense. Don't worry guys, I got you all covered for the next 30 years now. So hopefully those videos all disappear. I'll see you guys later, happy April Fools. Click the video on screen right now to learn 100 facts about Nintendo you shouldn't know.